Um, so we're got... in a completely different area, by the way. Yeah, well, I mean that's that's fitting because I got cut off while talking about Demon Souls, but let's just forget about... entirely about that. Yeah, talking about YouTube behind the scenes stuff is far more interesting. Uh, it probably isn't for everybody listening, but it is for me actually. <laughs> oh, you're you're into that YouTube drama stuff? No, ow, we almost died. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Fall give... damage is borked in this game. I don't give a toss about uh, drama, but Dude, I don't even know what YouTube drama is. It's a hashtag, I think. I don't. <sighs> I'm so far dis like removed from internet That's drama true. and stuff like that in the first place, like. But um, but no, I I absolutely adore talking about like like the business stuff that goes like is behind the scenes, um, which is kind of what is we that... were what we were just well, talking that... about in between recordings. Yeah, yeah, it is. What's oh, that? Well, do you want you know YouTube videos to be like your main source of income at some day or something? I mean, I wouldn't mind. It's... I, you know, I wouldn't mind doing happen. that either, but <laughs> it's, it's that's not going to happen. Really but uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, hello, yeah, dog. it's not going to happen. Um, it's like it's not really ever what I've seen myself doing. Like I'm just doing it for fun right now because Lord knows, with you know five people who regularly watch, I'm not going to be making any cash off of this. But uh, yeah, why did you even start this channel in the first place? It started. Uh, well, just for fun. Initially, it started because Spencer wanted to show off Beyond Atlantis to somebody. Oh, oh yeah, that's the first uh, yeah. set of videos, right? And uh, I volunteered because I was like, I mean, I'm not doing anything like more interesting with myself. Yeah, you're not, you're not in college, are you? Not at the moment. I uh, and, you, and you don't have a job. I am. I'm currently. Um, uh, like I'm currently s sort of Looking enrolled. For a job? No, I'm currently sort of oh. enrolled in a university for uh, for the f the upcoming fall semester. But um, I I do still have to get some uh, cash to be able to actually go. So. Oh, sorry, ladies. David's taken. <laughs> um, but yeah, like at the moment, you know they're. When like and when we started this channel and everything, there wasn't really anything that I was doing, so I was like, yeah, you know, just make YouTube videos, whatever. It'll be it'll be a fun use of time, and it'll uh, be a thing. Yeah, and then like when I kind of took more control of the channel, it was like, well, now I can I can also use this as kind of like examples of doing video editing because yeah I, I guess I never like I've never taken any classes on video editing or anything like you don't that. you don't need to no, no one really. like um, no no one takes classes for video editing. I don't know about that but well very very old-fashioned people do I don't know if you want to be a like if you want to be an actual video editor for like oh TV an actual movies, one that would oh be, an actual uh... video editor yeah I guess <laughs> but um yeah, YouTube, YouTube videos, videos does not like, require a lot no, N not unless you're making highly, well, costly, uh, like, like actual like skits and stuff. Um, yeah, we're not we're not Freddy Wong here. Yeah, I don't I don't have it. My budget for this channel is literally zero dollars. Zero. So. Well, you didn't you didn't even like buy your microphone or something. That I would not say that counts as an ongoing budget cost. Okay. <laughs> like I don't spend. I, there was kind of an upfront cost that went into it, but everything after that, it like like, it's just been zero dollars. Uh, I have not you just spent, spent time. Yeah, I haven't spent or gotten anything out of like making YouTube videos, um, which directly flies in contrast with the way that successful YouTubers like the Game Grumps and the Ogscast do things. Uh, they where, have a lot of money. Yeah, where they make videos, they get hundreds of thousands of views per day, and they get, like, you know, a lot of money due to that, and we're going to have another boss right here. Yep, and probably one of the worst bosses I have ever seen. <laughs> it's another, um, it's another swarm. 
horde boss. So that's fun. Yep, it's another room full of enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Which oh, doesn't one, even pop the only, up with the, uh... Yeah, well, the only interesting is thing is, like, yeah, the health bar just appear immediately. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, like, if... If, you know, if this channel was big and famous and actually, like, profitable, you know, yeah, I would be... I would be interested in doing it kind of as an actual job. Like, that's kind of the way that I treated it in the first place. Um, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, yeah, I, I would be interested in doing it for money, but there you can't. That that's that's you know a pipe dream at the moment. Yeah, like ev everyone who has made it successfully on YouTube will say like you can't go into YouTube expecting to be successful. Yeah, yeah, don't ever do that. Don't because it's, it's advice just not for happen. everyone on everything. Don't expect to be successful immediately. Yeah, yeah because it's it's just not gonna happen. Like even like even people Well who do... you know well if you take out a small loan of a million dollars you can get you can get places uh... pretty quickly. Uh... Let's Moving quickly on past that. <laughs> I just want to mention that uh, that boss oh. lasted a single sentence that I spoke. Yeah. How uh, how interesting. Yeah. The the, the thing is is uh, you have to find the, the real the right rat. rat. Or, yeah. Um. But if you know what it looks like, it's easy because it has like a mohawk thing. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, this is a rat covenant. Um. And Blech. this area is actually for. Another invasion thing is kind of like the Bell Covenant, except it's rats. I guess I don't know. <laughs> uh, what was I? What was I saying? YouTube, YouTube stuff. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so even people who, like, even even like just in media and entertainment in general, like people who suddenly rise to popularity with like. A new book, or a new movie, or a television show, or, a, or a music well, album, um, or anything, anything like, like almost that. immediately. Yeah, like all of those people, like the, it may be their first like big published book, and that oh, that's the yeah, first I thing that made them yeah. famous. Um, but but it was not their first attempt at it. Yeah, like those people, generally speaking, and like and there are there are of course as always there are people who get extremely lucky. But generally speaking, yes. yes. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, he's like double dead. He's in a coffin, and he's hanged, and he's yeah. a skeleton, <laughs> and yeah. he's like falling to his death. Like, geez. Generally speaking, all of those people who suddenly get famous probably spent the last like ten years of their life doing that same exact thing with no yeah, return of investment for it. Mm -hmm. Like. Like every writer who suddenly gets a big hit book, spent a really long time writing either for themselves or just writing like little itty bitty local papers and stuff like that. They mm -hmm. never, it almost never, is a sudden success story. It it yeah, does you have, happen. You have to start really small. Yeah, like it does happen because that's the way that you know popular media works. It's very finicky and you can rarely actually predict what's going to be big but it is exceedingly rare and it's the same way with youtube so yeah oh by the way we, we finally have these variants so yeah, there we go. exploring enemies yeah I, I i was actually wrong on that you can actually tell because they have a flaming torso right that's how you can tell uh Ow. and i hate the ah. enemy here because lightning actually oh god you Ow. know bioshock well. style it spreads throughout the water so i want to get out the water and he got us uh, anyway yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ow, jeez. That, so uh, I missed my opportunity to, uh... Hurt. <laughs> well, quick, reload the game. <laughs> um... <laughs> maybe it's a bit too early to say that, but... Maybe, maybe I do decide to do that, I don't know. Uh... Oh, jeez, yeah, he's so, already yeah. trying to hit us. Yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. She aggroes pretty easily. Ow. Oh, God. She's very crafty. Oh god. Ow. Oh no. Oh jeez. And I forgot about these exploding yep. guys. Are we, are we gonna die again? 
<laughs> mm. At least we got our souls back. That's what matters, right? That's all that matters. <laughs> uh. This is a very bad time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're she... almost close to distance. Come on. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Come on, man. We there you go. Now she stands no chance. <laughs> now, now, now you're trapped. Yeah, pretty much. That. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's. That. She's, she's wearing, by the way, um, like firekeeper outfit. All plus yeah. five, which is very odd. I don't see any players doing that. <laughs> well, they had to make her tanky somehow, right? Yeah, somehow. Uh, and another one of these guys, even scared out and about. Why is he just down here in this, the sewer? Like, oh, there's he's not the only one, there, there's a few that are just <laughs> placed, um, uh, very weird Oddly. spaces. Yeah, just, um, just but guarding, oh, a, guarding a chest in the sewer, okay. Yeah, all, all of them are guarding Sublime Bone Dust, right? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, let's try to get a crystal lizard again, but um, I'm finally finishing uh, up buying all of this guy's ladders. So, you actually need to use one of the ladders to get to a specific area, right? Yeah, maybe you can do it if you survive the fall. <laughs> maybe, but you might as well buy the ladders. They're not that expensive. Right, because so, this, this, this tunnel actually, like, or hole or whatever actually it's leads to like two different areas right uh yeah and you can actually skip you can actually skip the entire rat area if you fall enough yeah yeah and this is an absurdly long ladder i don't know how you managed <laughs> to even get it in here yeah <laughs> or carry it for that matter yeah and look there's really another heavy. ladder How'd that ladder this get is, there? No, this is metal. This wasn't his craft craftsmanship. <laughs> oh. Anyway, well, we need we need a key to access that anyway, which we'll find later. Oh geez. Oh gosh. Yeah. So this is this is kind of like the same descent that you have to make in the Stone Fang Tunnel. Um, okay. Where you have to like you're dropping from like beam to beam and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, okay. And okay, but the um, fall damage here or is jacked way up than the yeah. first game. So players. Who come from the first game try to survive falls here, but obviously killing themselves because they don't expect huh? for the damage to be that Damn. high. Hey, and the thing fell through. Oh, so. well, <laughs> it's that's very nice. I in DS3 they fixed that. As soon as you kill a crystal lizard, you immediately get the items. I thought you got that. I thought it worked that way in the first game. Maybe you do. Oh wait, yeah, I think you do. Yeah, yeah I'm why? Sure you... Why did they change that? <laughs> oh, another thing: if a crystal in in DS3, in, in when a crystal lizard falls off a ledge that would kill a player, it also kills a crystal lizard, and you get the yeah. items anyway. Oh yeah, that that didn't happen. They just kind of fell and then vanished. yeah, they fell and then they like yeah. their script tells them they're just gone. You yeah, didn't kill them. They you didn't have kill to themselves. reload the game. <laughs> yeah, essentially. <laughs> Which is, mm, dare I say, not fair? No. <laughs> not fair in a Souls game. That's absurd. Yeah. Everything is fair. This game is very that. fair. Oh, so speaking of. Well, I mean. Not, not really related to directly any of that, but um, related to something we were talking about in the first game, I think? Okay. Uh, Salt and Sanctuary just came out on PC. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, and uh, so that's that's cool. So that, I don't... it released earlier than I thought. And, yeah, it, it kind of released. And I heard no no news about it. It just appeared. Yeah, on Steam. like it released kind of very suddenly. Like it it you know they were they were kind of talking about oh well, oh you yeah, know it's gonna why be released it, it, soon. It, it... Uh. It's because Sony are the ones responsible for marketing the game, uh. and now that they've already released on PS4, they don't care. So it's <laughs> I don't, all up to the actual devs to, you know, make the news. But I, I don't guess think it, they're not. Oh uh, wait, to no, do that. yeah, it hasn't come out on the Vita yet. That's right. I don't which think is, so. Which is, which is, well, it would actually be a really good game on the Vita, but you know, yeah, Sony's well, not going to care about that. Porting is actually either. harder than. You might think so. Well, it's taking a while, I guess. Yeah. Well, I I do hope that like 
it does come to the Vita and people who have Vitas and don't have PS4s or gaming PCs. <laughs> that is a it's... very specific type of person. <laughs> yeah, that is a very small number. Only have or... a Vita? I... That's weird. I guess, in fairness, like there there is kind of a reason to get it on the Vita anyway, because like if you get it on PC or PS4, you can't take it with you anywhere. And it, I guess it, it, is that it, really the game that you'd play outside yeah. of the comfort of your own home? Sure, it's it, it is a it is a great kind of game to like play. I mean, not 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 necessarily outside your home. I don't know how other people play their handhelds, but like I just I like playing my handheld when I don't feel like I can be bothered sitting in front of a screen, like a monitor. Or a I TV. guess. Um, I mean, like tr truthfully though, if I could play every game, like on, on like on my, uh, con you know, home consoles or PC and just play it on like a 3ds i'd gladly do it because i can do it on my bed <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> i don't have to sit on a <laughs> shitty computer chair but um yeah like i i think that salt and sanctuary would be a very worthy addition to like the ps4 or nah, ps4 the the vita because well, yeah it's... because god knows it needs anything <laughs> well th there's that but like it's a style of game that would work really well on a handheld like console in the yeah, first place. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, so I, like, I don't By the way, if... I'm showing off the chaos the lovely, in that yeah. column of garbage. <laughs> the um, yeah, because we're in the we're in the sewer now, which is technically this is the, the other poison area, I guess. I, I guess yeah. it was kind as a poison area. Um, yeah, so I, I don't I don't know how many people actually. Like checked out Salt and Sanctuary after we mentioned um, it before, but uh, but yeah, like I sure you, haven't. If you play on PC and don't have a PS4, and like um, Castlevania and Dark Souls esque games, dude, it's just two D Dark Souls. Yeah, it, it's more Dark Souls than Castlevania. Well, like, well, yeah, but that's that's kind of the thing. It's like it it shows off why Dark Souls is such a good 3D Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is weird because, like, Dark Souls brought it from 2D to 3D and now we're getting games from 3D to 2D. Yeah. <laughs> because we're seeing, like, indie studios that are like, you know, you know, this is big and, you know, it, it's pretty popular, so might as well. And, you know, most indie studios can't do 3D, so you yeah. go for 2D, which is which yep. I'm fine with. But, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's because, like, Kind of like the main difference is that like Salt and Sanctuary has more of a focus on platforming, which works better yeah, because it's 2D, uh, and mm -hmm. and it also has like it has less um, less meaty combat. I guess I would say it's like it's still pretty like it, it's pretty weighty. Like everything feels very heavy. Yeah, and, everything uh, still has a wind up. Yeah. But it's it's a lot faster than like Dark Souls and Dark Souls Two. I don't I don't know about Dark Souls Three. But... Dark Souls Three is pretty fast. <laughs> it's like almost almost Bloodborne fast. Not as fast as Bloodborne, but it's taking it's well, taking yeah. some stuff from Bloodborne. And like yeah, Salt and Sanctuary seems to it seems to take a little bit more from Castlevania as far as like the speed of combat goes. I yeah, would say. I, I guess because that works better in two D. Yeah. And what is this? I don't know. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's like a mutant dog. Yeah, like just weird mutant dog thing. Okay, ooh. It has no place here. We must kill yeah. that abomination. Why? Yeah, why is it here? Like... Just... Dude, I don't even know why this entire location was constructed. <laughs> well, yeah, what what does this serve? Like, what purpose does this location did, serve? Did, did like an architect in the Dark Souls universe look at Upper Blight Town and go, "Man, I'm yeah. gonna make one that's like better than that," and then they yeah. make one that's worse. We need to we need to have a a sewer system that's built like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good Let, idea. Let's have the actual place where people live be the sewer system. <laughs> that can save a lot of money. And you know it's 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 innovative. It's progressive. I mean, they're all zombies anyway, so who cares about their well, like well-being? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Probably normal people entered and then they came out as zombies. So. 
Blame yeah. it on the architect that decided decided that everyone gets to sleep in sewers. Yeah, yeah. That's God, what? Like, why does this place even exist? In in both a real world context and a lore context. Yeah, strange. This, this, this like in if you just look at this area and then compare it to the others, you know, this area is just unnecessary. I wonder. Ooh, ow. I wonder if they ever did try to like explain it. <laughs> Or, uh, uh, probably not. I mean, like, Blighttown was explaining this because, like, it's so run down, and, like, it's where all the waste goes, essentially. Everyone flushes their toilets, and all the pipes lead to Blighttown. That's why yeah. it's so, it's so shitty. Um, <laughs> but in this case, you write a bomb of well. Like, how do you even enter this place normally, you know? Yeah. Where, yeah, like, where does this Yeah, we, we entered via well that d didn't even have proper ladders. Yeah, w like, w where where are we going, like, in here, anyway? Oh, uh, we're, well, we're on our way to fight uh, another great soul. No, I mean, like, just, well, okay, that's, that's weird enough as it is, but, like, what area does this connect to? Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> what area does it connect to? It, this, well, this area is called the gutter. It connects to another area called Black Gulch, and that's where it ends. Okay. I, again, I, I would love to see like a world map that tries to construct all of these areas in a uh, like in scale format. Oh, in in like in like a three D like a three D yeah. map thing. <laughs> um. Well, we're pretty. We're we're pretty deep, you know. Um, I try. I'm trying to think of like the lowest altitude that this game takes you. Oh, oh, there, there's one that's like way lower down. Never mind. This is not really that low compared to the later area. Ah, uh, I don't think I know or remember that one. Oh, it's after we um kill the four gray ones, so it's gonna be much, much uh later. Fair enough. You know, um, so this game is longer than it needs to be, like, honestly. <laughs> you know, th there are some levels like this one that are like, you know, if they if they didn't have this one, you know, if you just drop down the well and you enter Black Gulch, I'd be fine with that. Um, and then, so when I did kill the four great ones, I was like, oh, yeah, I killed First the greatest the beings the in the world, and I'm like, Oh, I'm only halfway done. <laughs> oh shit, DLCs. <laughs> I'm only like a third done. <laughs> so yeah, well, th th um, so DS3 is shorter than this game, and I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> a, a lot of devs nowadays like we're bigger than the previous one, but if it's... From Software like we're bigger than Dark Souls, I'm like, oh no. It's it's a strange thing, like. This is this kind of a, this is a sentiment that of course. Ooh. Hello, hello, Wallmaster. You're gonna find more of those guys in Black Gulch. <laughs> um, it's a sentiment that a lot of people kind of make, like notice and and make as like kind of they get older. But games being longer and larger is not necessarily <sighs> oh. a good thing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> like, which is so why many... I was I was scared for like when um. CD, uh, CD Projekt Red, and it's yeah. like where like, what is what is the they compared them to S The Witcher Three to Skyrim, the DLC like, the DLC for yeah the last expansion for The Witcher Three they said is gonna be like as large as Skyrim or something like that. Yes, yeah, and I'm like, don't don't do that, please. Yeah, <laughs> like, don't. It's like, there's so many. First of all, there are so many big games as it is. Like, who? Yeah, has time? if you make a big game. That's not special in any way at all. No, not anymore, at least. Yeah, like, no, not anymore. You know? Like I, I personally started getting tired of like open, big open world games probably about four years ago, and oh. they kept making them, and I was like, oh. Okay. That, that's what. Well, that's what Ubisoft makes. Yeah, exactly. All the, all the time, and that's all they make. It. it um, well, it, yeah, it started. It started with Ubisoft as well, because it's like, I, I, you know. I was okay with the first Assassin's Creed. It wasn't great because it was too repetitive. Um, yeah, it needed the polish, which is why Assassin's Creed Two is yeah. much better and more yeah, exactly. ac accept but, accepted. Yeah, I really, I really did like 
enjoy Assassin's Creed 2. And then I didn't care about Revelations or whatever the other brotherhood. Or, wait, um, remember when Ubisoft said, you know, how, like, Revel uh, you know, Brotherhood, which is the third game, yeah. they, it, it wasn't uh, called Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> um, and then they were like, we're, we're only going to give, you know, um, numbers to <sighs> when we ha have a new character. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Yeah. You know what? Fair enough, fair enough. So 3 had that, 4 had that. What about Unity? That had a new character. <laughs> And Syndicate. Um, and and, and that, Rogue. Uh, yeah, exactly. And those haven't been getting numbers. <laughs> and that's entirely because they're embarrassed with the amount of sequels that that franchise has. Yeah. Assassin's Creed is so... Oh, so many I games. prefer it if they went with the Final Fantasy route. They're like, okay, let's just... Even though it has a bunch of spinoffs, they're just slapping as much as much numbers on it as possible. Which <laughs> which I, I really like. I don't like it when a franchise starts oh. and the first three has numbers, and oh, then the, all the ones after are just subtitles. That's really, <laughs> that's really predictable, you know. It, well, it seems like. By the way, it, I don't know how a hide knight got down here, but whatever. Yeah, it also makes the like developer actually seem less kind of confident. Um, yeah, less confident and less decisive. Um, yeah. Because they're just like, oh well, this is Assassin's Creed One. Oh, this is oh geez, we're gonna get straight wrecked. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that was a weird cut. What happened there? Man, this game is weird. <laughs> that was a problem with the game. That's, you know, whatever. That's true. Weird, weirdness and. <clears throat> but um, you know, like it's, oh, this is Assassin's Creed Two. Oh well, now we have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and uh, oh. Now we have Assassin's Creed Revel. Oh, you you want to move on from Ezio? Okay, well, here, have Assassin's Creed 3, even though it's the fifth game. Actually, te technically, yeah. technically, like, it was the seventh game, if you included that. The not even ones. including, like, the DS games. Yeah. And there was there were there were two DS games and a PSP game. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then they... Dude, like, Dark Souls Assassin's is almost gang there. <laughs> <laughs> and then they it's, had Assassin's Creed Four, there. and they yeah. had uh, actually oh they had they had another they had a, a Vita game that accompanied three, uh, which Liberation? later came out yeah which later came out for the PC and PS4. Yeah, and there was Xbox. a lot of Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> oh yeah, wait in okay in 2016 uh, they did they did explicitly say no new Assassin's Creed, but guess what? There's a movie to be excited movie, for. Yeah. Yeah. That that fills in the gap perfectly. It, they didn't say no new Assassin's Creed. They said no new Assassin's Creed game. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're a fan of the franchise, uh, no need to worry. We have a movie for you. It's really hilarious, actually. Like, cause my um. The movie? No. The trailer? No, I I have uh, not been paying attention to that at all. But uh. Oh, don't bother. No, my best friend uh, was always a really big fan of Assassin's Creed and. Oh boy! Like he was, he was a person who would ardently defend it. Like it was like you know. Okay, I don't okay. Know. So, so how long did this last? He started getting burnt out with Unity, I think. Okay, uh, okay, that's a reasonable time. Yeah, like he liked all of them up through four, and he really liked yeah, four as well. And four is a good game because four is a good pirate game. It's a, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It it's should still be called Pirate Creed. Yeah, it's still not a it's not a great Assassin's Creed game, but oh wow, don't yeah, play exactly. it for Assassin's Creed. <laughs> That's because it, like the fundamental things with Assassin's Creed is flawed to begin with. Yeah, but like yeah, Black Flag is a fantastic pirate game. It's probably one of the best ones out there, I would say. Um, mm hmm Yeah. And so yeah, like that was really good. And then like they then they came out with Unity and Rogue, and uh, <laughs> he he got Unity, and he was like. Yeah, you know, I, I, I like it, but I'm kind of starting to get tired of the Ubisoft formula here. Um, and then oh, Syndicate. Yeah. Syndicate came out, and I don't think he even oh ever got God, Syndicate. Oh my god, I completely forgot about some Syndicate. Yeah. It, Jeez, uh, that's that's the British one, right? Yeah, and um, the funny thing oh is that, god. like... The funny thing is that, like, Syndicate came out with a better, like, technical <laughs> proficiency than Unity did. Because like Unity uh, was a mess on launch, <laughs> and Syndicate was, was actually like Syndicate was actually playable from what I heard. <laughs> but uh, it did yeah. not shit its own anus. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he ever got Syndicate, and he's just like, eh. Now he's kind of like, meh, whatever. 
and it's yeah it's really it's hilarious because like when both you can hilarious do, and depressing yeah like when you can do that to somebody who was <laughs> oh, literally oh, like, right. yeah yeah i got you yeah would, would like literally defend all of your like even the games that weren't great in your franchise and now he's just kind of tired of it it's like maybe yeah maybe you need to cut back a little bit <laughs> yeah it, it, it might be better to have your player base hate your game because that's at least something <laughs> you don't want your player base to think of like eh. empty emptiness when you think of your franchise yeah maybe maybe i'll get back into it in like three years or so when they finally you know, just take enough. me to asia anywhere yeah. in asia just that, anywhere i'll take it <laughs> that having been said the assassin's creed chronicles games are actually pretty good oh they don't count <laughs> well i mean they're again like spin-offs and stuff but yeah they don't even play like the main games well they're basically like an assassin's creed skin of mark of the ninja and since oh, yeah, mark of the ninja much. is a really good game like that's fine <laughs> yeah so yeah like assassin's creed chronicles china check it out it's actually a pretty good game Oh, what about India and Russia, though? I haven't played those ones myself. Cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm used to the videos ending on a boss battle, so when it doesn't, I'm like, wait, what? It's over?